Hi guys and uh, a very welcome to our X and Aero uh, demonstration video where we would like to showcase exactly what is so unique about this uh, solution. First of all, I would just like to uh, thank the University of Johannesburg, the Mining Surveying Department, um, the Professor Henny Gobler for the opportunity in making this uh, venue available and also to Sabanya Stillwater. My name is Gustav Fick, I'm the subject matter expert for 3D scanning and UAVs at Hoptron. And uh, today I'm joined by uh, Joel uh, Benner, and Hi. he is the sales executive uh, from Exxon Technologies. And yeah, ultimately, we're going to show you what's unique about the Exxon Aero solution. So, let's get started. Alright, so here in front of me we have the flagship product, the Exxon Aero. It's a fully autonomous, LiDAR-based aerial robot. Um, and it has three main advantages compared to traditional systems. The efficiency, the safety, and the data quality. So in terms of efficiency, you're looking at performing a mission from unpacking to repacking in under 15 minutes, all packed in one neat uh, Pelican case. So compared to traditional systems, you don't have your entire poles and all that heavy equipment you have to lug underground. Uh, in terms of safety, it's simply unmatched. You can stand a good 50 meters away from any stop openings or anywhere where you want to capture data and uh, simply let the robot fly autonomously around obstacles into dangerous areas such as stops without putting any personnel in any danger whatsoever. So very far from the opening. And data quality, uh, we capture up to 600,000 points per second. Uh, the level of data you capture in such a rapid pace is uh, simply unmatched also. So compared to traditional systems, this is really the future. As you can see here, at the front we have the LiDAR itself. Uh, this, is, this model is on an M210, DJI M210 Matrice. And uh, you can see you also have a GoPro at the top. So if you want to have video visual inspections of your scans or, or the areas you're performing your scans, uh, that can be done. And uh, obviously four motors, uh, two headlights at the front. It does not require the lights, it's simply there for your GoPro footage. And uh, the entire payload is the bottom here. So the entire payload of the X and Arrow in terms of autonomy, software, is all mounted at the bottom of the unit. Let's go take a look at how it performs like. Alright, so let's start over here on the left. The uh, DJI remote, you're not going to actually use this to fly or anything like that. The only real use case is the live video feed uh, that you can see on the screen. And it allows you to get a first uh, bird's eye view of what the drone is seeing as it navigates the environment. Next up is the main rugged tablet. Um, this tablet will really, this is where you're going to be operating the drone from start to finish. Post-processing, geo-referencing, it's all done here on this tablet. It's the main central hub of control, uh, the mission planning and everything. So, I'm going to launch my X&G software. Here we are. What I do like about it is this screen size. Uh, yes. I mean, yeah, it's just literally interactive with your data like that. So, very easy to manipulate, very easy to use. Um, it's really meant to be easy from the start. So, here we have an environment. Of course, uh, right now it's a uh, totally black, we don't have any data present, uh, but we do have an origin point which represents exactly where the robot is taking off. So at uh, this point right here would represent where my robot is uh, currently stationed. So what I would start with is called something a map preview and essentially I'm just going to make the LiDAR spin a bit and get some data on my map so I can plan my flight further. Again, no need for GPS, no need for prior maps, I don't need to give it any information other than a general idea on where I want it to operate. So here you can see the LiDAR is starting to, to spin and we have some data coming in in real time. So this will allow me to actually plan a mission for the robot. So what is this mission I'm talking about? So let's take a look over here. You can see this is all a touchscreen process, very 3D, easy to use, easy to move. Um, what you see here is a large cube. This rep represents an explore volume. And essentially for that, all it means is that the robot will try to scan and capture anything within this volume here. 
Um, I can make it as big as I want, I can move it around, make it smaller. Um, even if I make it way too big for the scope, for example, it's going to detect that it's done scanning that area and it's going to come back home. Of course, it's going to navigate throughout any obstacles, wires, cables, anything like that, and uh, perform its mission. So let's get started and uh, actually kind of put it in place on where we want to operate. So today in this building, we kind of have a vertical um, column over here that represents our scope. So we're going to just kind of highlight this area over here. I'm going to check the front view also, make sure I've got the appropriate height. And from here, we're essentially done. There is one little waypoint you got to set. And all it is, the waypoint, is just to make sure that you're uh, close enough to the explore volume. You're guiding the drone away from your takeoff area. But that's it. I'm already done planning. And from here, I would just start my lander again. Press the nice play button. And we'd be off. Yeah. Great. So typically, let's execute this mission. Um, yo, let's, let's, uh, let's go for it. Let's get to flying.